Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to fix corrupted data on your Xbox Series X. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. So the first one is maybe by clearing the cache. So all you have to do is go to settings and then scroll down and select devices and connections and then choose Blu-ray, select that and then find the persistent storage, select it and then choose clear persistent storage and that might fix that particular issue or if it doesn't if that doesn't work press the xbox button on your controller to access this page and then select my games and app and then select see all and then find the game that has the corrupted data issue so for instance if this game fallout 4 has that issue highlight on it and then press the button with the three lines on your controller to reveal these options and then select manage game and add-ons like that and then scroll down and find the save data option so choose it and then from here find the reserved space option and delete that particular data so by, by deleting this maybe that will solve that particular issue or you can decide to delete all this data including your profile your save data profile on that particular game so you can delete all of them and then see if that will fix that particular issue However, if that doesn't fix it, you can simply uninstall that particular game. So all you have to do is find that game and then press the three line, the button with the three lines on your Xbox controller. And then from the menu that appear, select uninstall and that will fix that particular issue. If that doesn't work as well, simply come back to the game section and then find that particular game and select and press the button with the three lines to reveal these options and then select manage game add-ons and then come under the updates section so select that and if there's an update available i will recommend that you download that update so that maybe it can fix that particular issue and if you have tried all those methods you can simply restart your console so all you have to do is press and hold the X xbox button on your controller and then come and restart the console and that will save will help you fix that particular issue so those are the few methods you can use to fix that issue if this video helped you simply consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section below